Hello everyone, welcome to another digital finance learning video. Today we're going to show you how to use the macro recorder inside script editor. And just a really quick note on the macro recorder is it's a lot like VBA. And there's a lot of people that will turn up their nose to using a macro recorder. But as a finance or accounting professional, you're not a scripter first. So it's a good place to start to get you the base code and then you can go in and edit it as necessary after you've gotten your macro started. So then you, you can see you go up to tools, go to macros, and go to record macro. So down at the bottom it's going to start recording your macro for you. You've not done an action yet so there's nothing saved. But let's say we wanted to filter this data. Go highlight the top row, click filter. And let's say we wanted to filter vendors for digital finance learning. First, we're going to unfilter all the other vendors, type in digital finance learning, select it, and then maybe we want to copy these orders to a new tab. So we're highlighting the appropriate cells, we're copying, you can see it's adding all the steps into the macro, we're creating a new sheet, and then we're pasting. So we click save, you can name your macro here, we'll just leave it as untitled macro for now. You can see you can even edit it from this point. And here's all the steps that we added to the macro recorder. Again, you can go back after you've done this and uh, modify it as necessary to make it more usable or use it in another area. But again, it's a good baseline place to start. All right, so we're going to go ahead and delete this sheet out. We're going to run it and we're going to see how it works. We're going to remove the filters. Go back up to macros, there's our on title macro to run. We're gonna go ahead and run it. The first time you run any script, you're gonna to have to authorize it. Very similar again to VBA, you're giving it permissions to do stuff as you, so it just wants to make sure you're okay with that. Go ahead and click continue. You select the Gmail account you're using in your drive. You can see the permissions we're giving it. See, edit, create uh, your spreadsheets. We're okay with that. So we'll click allow. And then the macro will run from there. And you can see it filtered, copied the data over. And it's a simple way to get started. We'll look for you in the next video. Thank you.